Hey guys, it's Paul. I want to do a bit of a fun demo on how I see businesses working. A lot of businesses I work with um, are security companies, and this is their makeup of seven areas. Uh, whether it's a one-man band who does all the seven things himself, or it's you know smaller companies where three or four people do everything, or it's up to 50 to 100 where there's a lot of people in these areas. What I see is a lot of times is a closed shop. There isn't always great communication between sales and installs, sales and customer service, installs and accounts, inventory, HR. There's, there's not a great interaction um, in a business where, yes, you talk to each other around the water cooler, but you're a little bit closed off in what you want to do. And each department isn't really identifying another department's treasure chest, which I've got in this, of where that information is and what, what's the solid uh, part of your business where if you manage the data, then all sorts of things can happen. So what I want to do is really push these doors and windows back, open up the sales department, open up the service department. See there, that's my truck. I used to always park in forwards. I thought I'd put it in. For the people that might watch this who know that I was a pain in the ass to park forward. Um, the bosses, the IT department, HR, your accounts department and your inventory department. So there's a lot of things going on within a company, isn't there, when you push the walls back. And if I can come in, I'm going to show you, you know, if I come to sales first, Obviously, with a sales team, they've all got, you know, Sarah Sales has just made a sale, dancing on a chair. Um, you've always got somebody who's pushing back on technology. You've always got people that are into it, and but they've got the contact information within their own within their own phone, within their own system. Maybe they're even working off their own system and not using everybody else's. Uh, and then it all comes together on a spreadsheet or something. I don't know. I mean... Some people may even still have little roller decks. I worked with one guy who had a roller decks on his thing, and he said he would try to tell me that was better. If you implement a CRM where you've got this information that can contact customer service for their information, can go to accounts for their information, can look at inventory, can look at HR, and you all of a sudden you open up these little treasure chests, can start connecting to each other. If I move over to service and install, same again. There's usually big filing cabinets in install departments where people have just gone crazy on paper and they spend more time filing filing things, you know, timesheets and expenses and um, obviously everything that's signed off, everything the salesmen sign off, they pass everything on to the, to the install department. So they, the salesman will create a big folder full of paper and that big paper goes through to the install department or the service department, and then they've got technicians who, again, they've got their own little, they've got their own little treasure chest of information on a certain job or a certain customer, and these treasure chests all need. To, I think if you get them all talking, I've done it in a business where we finally got all these treasure chests talking, and the results were unbelievable afterwards. It took a lot of work. It took a lot of people. Um, having to get on board with a new system, a new process, but these treasure chests in your install department, over here with Dracula in your in your accounts department. Again, another accounts department is going to have filing cabinets galore with previous past history. You know, fishing through paper, getting getting to know what people have signed off on. Um, again, this treasure chest should be talking to these guys, should be talking to these guys. And if you get them all talking, if you manage your data where these people can say, right, why haven't I got paid sales commission for, for that job that I sold that I'm dancing on my chair about? Well, has that job been completed? Can I click and see what's the status of that job? As if, oh, it's been completed, but maybe at this company I only get paid when they pay their invoice. So can I look at, ah, can I look in the accounts department and see if that customer's paid, if that customer's even got the invoice? You know, some people get paid on the invoice being sent out. Then you can dance on your chair because you've got paid. Um, but if you can't sit at your desk or at your home, or I mean, remember what you want to do at home, but on your phone, get this information fast and quick. How do I get it all so quick that 
nothing slows me down. I know the situation of them jobs. I know the install. I know everything about it, you know. And then further into your business, anything that slows you down, HR. The wicked witches of HR because they're a pain, because they're always chasing you for stuff. They're always messing you about with your, your holiday time or you know your paycheck or whatever you've got to do. It's probably not fair on the HR department, but again, I think it's a lack of communication that causes that. And now, ah, as they open the app store, I didn't want to. Come on. I need a joystick to be able to control this or a VR edge set. You know, your HR department, how are they tracking new new employees, um, giving employees the right information to start work? How are they tracking their um, people who are signing up, people who are wanting jobs? Do they all go in? Again, filing cabinets, filing cabinets, paper everywhere. You know, inventory department, filing cabinets, receipts, everything. These computers facing outwards, booking stuff out. The IT guy, a massive filing cabinet. This guy has the data. And if you can connect all this data together where everybody speeds up, and I'm not talking about complicated processes, I'm talking about two clicks, find something, find a place where you can click and go, right, what did what did customer service ah what did customer service say to my customer? Can I click and view that conversation? Can I click and see? what's happened right and then if you get all these departments talking you know you know that the over in the corner there the bosses will be dancing because they've got a golden egg of you know everything's connected even the bosses have their own little treasure chest in the back don't they with their information it's always one shy boss who don't want to dance like everybody else um you know, they're sat on a golden goose now because everything is in place where the IT department have created the databases where you can click and find stuff. I can click, do we have this in stock? Yes or no? Is that, can I contact this person? You know, instead of emailing everybody, do you have a place where you can all communicate through one platform where you just type in a message, hey, do you have anything of that in stock? Or or can I connect to a report that shows that's in stock or that's not in stock or it's promised to someone or that, you know, I'm going to do a sales for Mr. Smith. Well, you know, Mary's worked with Mr. Smith. She used to work at a company with him. What can she tell me about him? Information, it's all information into everywhere, all these little treasure chests. And I'm seeing it now. When I did it, when I became install service manager, I'd been a technician for a long time, right? And I knew I, things wasn't tracked. My timesheet wasn't tracked. Proper information on my timesheet wasn't tracked. I'd pass on a job to the sales guys, and the sales guys would pass it back in and it'd get done, but it wouldn't be in accounted. It wouldn't be billed. And all of a sudden, I I got so I, when I became the manager, I just I just went right. We're going to put a system in place where we track every job. We track every job, we make sure all the hours are there, and then we bill them. We bill what needs to be billed, and then we track the invoice to make sure it gets paid. And more to the point, we, we bill it extras. You know, if there's an extra camera, I'm billing everything that should be, not ripping anybody off, just getting billed everything we we can do and getting everything paid. And that led me into being a real hub was that install department because then that meant helping the salesman track their area, helping customer service track their information, helping accounts, making inventory know what information they needed. You know, and it made the bosses happy. It made them a lot of money. So what do I think? I think this is all complicated stuff in your minds, but it's not really when you break it down. When you look at, you know, what would I recommend? Currently, I recommend Zoho One. It's basically a dollar a day per employee. It's $30 a month per employee and what you're going to get is 40 apps that will do all sorts and everything so if i even just run through them quick the crm for your sales team motivator to get you know gamify getting small sales and maybe giving them an incentive for more sales a contact manager that you would run uh, in with your crm where you can get on your phone someone's contact information a business's information sales inbox 
where you can click on it. You can click on your in. You go to your inbox, uh, and you can see every email that's gone between you and a customer. And if you're a higher level, you can see every email between your company. Websites, you may not use that, and it depends how much how high end your business is. You may want a high end website, but but the, this website's fine for a small one man band army. Sales IQ, I use it every day. I've got it open now. I can see people on my website. So you can see, look, I've got somebody in the UK, somebody in, I think that's Kuwait, isn't it? You know, somebody in Serbia, somebody in Canada, somebody in America. Somebody been in America on two and a half hours on my website. Three and a half hours, 38 minutes, an hour, nearly two hours. So I can see through Sales IQ. I can, I can click and initiate a chat with that person. It's in Wimbledon, right? They might be playing tennis. Um, forms, page sense again, data from your website, campaigns is newsletters, sending out Merry Christmas newsletters, sending out new products, newsletters, social, getting, getting on top of your social media posts, scheduling social media posts, uh, sending out surveys for customers, Odesk, um, no, just desk, isn't it? Customer service, people be able to create tickets and, and pass it through so you can pass it on assist this is for your technicians that can remote control another person's computer um emails do all your emails in-house on one place click is is a communication platform where you can just sit and and talk and communicate now all these things connect to the crm so you can see everything you've set, sent and talked about in the crm project management for those jobs that go out is it been has it been um has that, how's that job doing how many hours have been booked to it? How many has the inventory been sorted? Um, Connect is a private social network for um, for just your company where you have a you have basically a Facebook that's your company and someone can go in and say, uh, you know, hey, I'm working on this today. Anybody been there? I'm doing that today. Anybody can somebody come and help me? Uh, you know, I played football over the weekend and we won. And people can, it's a social network where you talk to each other and get to know each other more. And you can put manuals in there and you can put all sorts. Uh, show times for presentations, meetings, host web con web conferences. Uh, writer you may not use, but it's a, it's a word processor. Um, spreadsheets, uh, projects like um, PowerPoint. This is a PowerPoint. Docs, obviously share your docs, save your docs, save all your passwords in Vault. Sign when you've got customers need to sign, get them signed electronically. You send the document electronically via email, they sign it and send you back. You know, you're getting rid of that filing cabinet. Finance, Zoho books, you could do your accounting again, depends on the size, whether you would. Invoicing, subscriptions, recurring payments, <laughs> expense reporting for your, for your technicians and your, your salesmen, inventory. Uh, a, a checkout page for payments, human resources. This is people is for um, managing the people in your business where you can see um, holiday pay, um, vacation, uh, what's it when they, when they want to go on holiday requests. Uh, they can manage everything within that person. And then recruit is when you're recruiting. So that's for HR, for the witches in HR. Um, creator, you can build your own apps. You can build your own reports you can build your own workflows where certain integrations from other apps come but it's all in one um and it's crazy it's crazy for a dollar a month per employee now you got hundred dollars you got hundred um sorry a dollar a day per employee but you know i've had to fly through it i've shown you stuff i use i use zero one every day for my business now because it's just so powerful for the 35 I pay $35 a month. Um, if you pay an annual fat plan, it's $30 um, per per user per month. Um, but you've gone from a closed office to an open office because people who need to can touch the information, can find things out. We are having to find you. We are having to create another meeting. Let's have another meeting. Let's have another meeting. It's, you know, you can say, you probably tell I'm quite excited about it because I know when you can connect all these little database treasure chests, your company makes money. Your company is more profitable, more productive. You will have a happier customer. You'll have a happier interaction because you'll be quicker. You'll be faster. 
um, and you'll you'll see where the cracks in your business are, where things are are falling through, where you're losing money, you know. But the treasure, uh, let's go back a bit more for this treasure. The treasure chests are everywhere, but it's data and it's database and it's getting databases to talk to each other and it's getting information um, to each other as fast as possible that you, and useful information. It's not junk in, junk out. This is all good stuff for your business. So I hope that helped. There's another little bit of a silly maybe demo, but you know, here's, uh, here's the Zoho One logo. You know, it's one business, all your information in one place. I do recommend it, or I do recommend you working out how these these databases talk to each other, how this information stops being paper, stops being thrown around on paper, becomes electronic, speeds you up. You can access it on the web, on your mobile phones, on your tablets. You know, you look like a, a you know you look like a professional high end company when you're sending out great looking quotes. You get you're getting customers to DocuSign um, approval things. You're not wasting time saying, hey, I'll come and you've got to sign this piece of paper for me. Um, I think that's what you need. I think you'll love it. Finding the person to do it is always hard. Um, I'm going to have some training on Zoho One. I'm going to do it specific for trades uh, and different trades uh, and, and really get you to understand how how to uh, navigate around all of this minefield and hopefully we'll turn these um, we'll stop the accountant being Dracula and we'll stop the uh, HR people being witches but we really want to get the um, we really want to get the bosses dancing don't we so hope that helped as always leave a comment let me know what you think um, have a great day I hope you're uh, I hope you're doing well giving value to people, making money for yourselves and yeah, you know, having a great time doing it. Cheers guys.